What did a crush do that made you instantly lose interest in him or her? She asked me to prom. I said yeah. Two days before prom Sai actually don't want to go with you. But I already bought both of our tickets. As the guy. I expect you to pay me back for them. Apostrophe. I tried to explain that's not how transactions work. She kept telling me it was my responsibility. I asked if she was smoking crack. Never heard from her again. He said that he doesn't like ugly people and they all should die or be put in a corner. Not me but my wife before we met. There was an event in Salt Lake City and she was from northern Washington. She had a crush on this guy and decided to join carpooling with him and couple other people. They stopped to grab some fast food and went back on their way. Well as soon as he finished eating drinking. He tossed the whole bag out the window while driving. After that. She barely talked to him and once they got to SLC she left him and joined some other friends and went back home with them instead. A long road trip is one of those things that should be mandatory before marrying someone. He was an astronaut teacher because he was going to play baseball in college. Looked him up and he's definitely not doing it professionally and hasn't graduated yet. It. I looked him up to see if he was a professional baseball player yet. I like to see if anyone that was good at sports succeeded, and he's kind of bounced around from university to university. Since it's been over 4 years since high school. That's why I threw in that he hadn't graduated yet. Told me about his stash of kiddie PRN. Yes I did report it. Went on a date with a guy to a Chinese restaurant and as we were leaving he threw trash on the ground when there was a trash can a few feet away. Then we went to his house to watch a movie and he picked his cat up by the scruff of its neck and threw it. Not a set it down to get it off the counter kinda of thing but a legit throw across the room. I left right then and there and told him why. He called me a bitch and a tease. For whatever reason. Never gave him the impression I was going to sleep with him that night. And was yelling at me as I was backing my car out of his drive. I got to the end of his road and blocked his number. Made fun of a chick who was into him for being chubby. He was fluffy himself. And I called him on it and walked away from that. A few things. She told me she hated how much guys share their feelings emotions now. She said that if she dates someone she wants them to be a typical man and not show any type of weakness. One of those things like. I don't want to hear if a man is sad or upset. I just don't care. She liked pretty heavy music. Like prog metal and hardcore music, which is cool. However. She didn't like anything else and would blatantly put down any other type of music and or not give it a chance. Almost made you feel stupid for liking anything else. Showed her a friend's artwork and her response was. Yeah. Not impressive. It would be impressive if they did. X. And. Y. Like I understand that you don't have to like every person's art but her demeanor about it was too condescending. Edit. Didn't realize this comment would get as big as it did. TBH I have no hard feelings to her. We moved on. It's okay. And for sure I don't think it's representative of all women. People have their own preferences. What she liked just wasn't my thing. They poked fun at my mom. Going to a primarily white school. Him and a group of his guy friends always made fun of how she dressed and how short she was. I didn't super know him. But he was a part of the group that did. And that's all I needed to know. My mom is this sweet. Short Asian woman who loves to smile. And yes. She sometimes wears goofy clothing. But no one makes fun of my mama. No one. He drove like an idiot while I was in the car. I literally thought he was going to kill us. And he was road raging the whole time. This was on the highway too. I asked him to stop driving like that and he didn't. Hey we still good for tomorrow? Asked her out. She said yes. Then. She dumped me two weeks in saying she didn't want to start anything new because she was moving in a month and didn't tell me. Then that time came for her to move and where does she move? Into my house. She got with my roommate that looks creepily close to how I look. We would often get mistaken for brothers. Twins even. And started a committed relationship with him. 
There were some thin walls in that house too. Crush on a girl my junior year of college. She liked to heavily make fun of people and I mean hard. Like to the point I would say hi to someone I knew. After we walked off she would have some remark. You went from attractive to not wanting to be around her really quickly. She started posting videos of her making out with drunk old men to her snap. This guy that I'd been talking to for a while on Tinder who I thought was cool cute but he never seemed down to meet up. One time he randomly messaged me to say he'd gone over to someone's place and they'd had sx three times. Found out she was a cousin. We were in class together and it was all a pure coincidence. Neither of us had any idea until a family member casually mentioned to me doesn't. Her name. Go to your school? Well. Crap. Was crushing on this girl for ducking months. And it turns out at her last apartment she stole $1,500 for coke and abruptly ended the lease giving her two roommates barely any time at all to find new housing. One of which had to move back in with their abusive mother. She ducked my dad. Best to not crush on your mom anyways. We were five. Had planned to marry when we got older with a pancake cake and everything. I was invited to his birthday party and he and his friend was climbing a tree with him being higher up. Suddenly he pees down on his friend. We never got married. You shouldn't play Dungeons and Dragons. You know. When you cast the spells in the game. You're actually casting them in your spirit. And that lets the devil get into you. I was. Like. Wait. And I'm supposed to be the one who can't tell reality from fiction? Acting like a complete dickhead. And when I addressed it he said I know I'm an asshole. But I'm really S as I like. Okay. Suddenly. You're really not S as I at all. Found out he was a serial cheater and cheated on his exes with strippers and massages. Edit. Just to clarify. He had SX with them. Some people in the comments didn't quite get it. Got someone pregnant. I worked up the courage to ask this girl to go on a date. She said yes. On the date. She proceeded to spend the whole time gossiping about anyone and everyone she could talk bad about. I still remember the moment it clicked that she was just super shallow and mean. Dude she knocked over my lego death star. He tossed an empty drink bottle onto a random lawn as we walked down the street. Threw rocks at a cat because she thought it was funny. That's no way to show appreciation to a funny cat. Not my crush. But someone who had a crush on me or so I was told. She asked for my birthday. And I told her. She then calculated that I was younger than her by a week or so and straight up said to me I did have a crush on a guy but then I found out he was younger than me so now there's not crush. Damn dude. Lol. What a dumb reason. My husband is 8 months younger than me, but born the same year. I love making cradle robbing jokes and telling him to respect his elders. He loves making old lady jokes. It's stupid. But it's fun to us. We were out drinking. He got drunk and started fighting a guy that he thought had been harassing me. The guy said he didn't harass me. I said he didn't harass me. I crush still tried to defend me. Never lost interest faster. Used a baby voice when speaking to me. Here's a light hearted one. I developed my first crush when I was in second or third grade. This was right around the time when Pokemon were first becoming really popular. So naturally I was obsessed with them. I had the cards. The Game Boy games. Etc. One day I overheard the girl I had a crush on talking to her friends at recess about how weird Pokemon were. And thus in a flash a young love was extinguished. Fast forward about 22 years and my wife also doesn't like Pokemon. Because life is strange. Just because I enjoy the company of kids and babies. She told me that I was a creep and a pedophile. Just because I love having kids around doesn't mean I want to have sx with them. Tortured a housefly and gave an oral book report trashing my favorite book, at the time, for being boring and having too many words. And started bragging he could have any girl in the school he wanted. 
Semicolon. Shortest crush of my life. I had a crush on a guy in 5th grade. He found out about my crush and made a really hateful nickname for me and teased me about my body. Got all of his friends to tease me too. Realizing he was a garbage person set me straight pretty quickly. He was mean to his mom. Demanded money from her so we could go out, in front of me. And then called his grandma to get some more money so we could go out. So uncomfortable. Did it. Let me add more details. We were both around 21 stroke 22. I met this person. Drove from the Midwest to Dallas with him. And was essentially stuck there for 2 days before my train was scheduled to leave. This behavior was not acceptable at all. And I felt uncomfortable the entire time. Got in his car for a date and he rolled down his window and threw about 5 fast food cups out on the side of the road. Made a comment about there being enough illegals around to clean up after him. Nope. Not something that she did. But her breath smelled like shti. I had been seeing this girl for 2 months in college and things were going alright. I was helping her move when she decided it was the moment to have a serious talk. She sat me down and in a very serious tone told me she had been doing some digging. She confronted me with the fact that I had dated black women. I kind of thought it was a joke at first. I guess my brain couldn't comprehend that this was still a thing. No. She was dead serious and explained to me that while she had nothing against black people she didn't believe in mixing races. I was dumbfounded. I got up and walked out. Rejected me. Don't keep trying when you know it's pointless guys. I misunderstood a comment and he was a DCK about it in front of a few people. Laughing at my instead of kindly correcting me. What a duckhead. It was a teenage crush. He had multiple girlfriends, who didn't know about each other. Disloyalty is not cool. A mix between sudden and extreme explosive road rage and a misogynistic rant that came out of nowhere. He's an ex now but he's gotten worse. Showed his true colors obviously. He asked me to help him hook up with my best friend. Semicolon. Edit. Continuation at that time I thought he was indirectly rejecting me and asking for my friend's number at the same time. To birds with one stone. You know. Well. I asked my friend if she liked him and she said yes so I became the matchmaker. They dated for like 3 months and broke up. The guy later told me she wasn't what he expected her to be. He also told me some of his friends liked me and he didn't want it to be a part of some manly fight. Well. We became good friends, I still had a little crush on him, but I had to change schools so I hid it and we parted 5 years ago. I am still wondering what he is doing right now. It was a bittersweet crush. I bet he knew I still had a crush on him. She asked me if I wanted to go to a concert with her. Then then she wanted me to pay for both tickets that I knew she got for free. Promptly laughed at her and told her she can duck off with some other idiot. It's funny how fast the ugliness on the inside can overcome anything good on the outside. She did me a favor that day. Alcohol and cigarettes. She saw an Oreo in the cleaner's dustpan. Picked it up. And ate it. That's called being resourceful. We are 8 or so and he asked for a pen. So I gave him mine. He chewed on it. Instant turn off. Told her I liked her. Then she blocked me on all social media and bullied me harshly whenever she saw me. Ouch. Did it. Jesus Christ this did better than I expected. I'm reading everyone's comments and the thing someone offered to help me with is flatten her tires. I'm in. That was a joke. Bully me to depression. Accuse me of cheating because I had female friends. TW animal abuse. Exclamation point. He'd constantly hit his cat in front of me and scare him on purpose. Poor baby had bladder problems. And would get hit every time he had an accident. Semicolon. Exclamation point. Some guy I went out with kept trying to convince me to sleep with him even after repeatedly telling him no. Some people just can't take no for an answer. 
told me that while he thought I wasn't dumb. That I couldn't be smarter than him because I was female and a few months younger. Our test scores. Entrance exams and work history later determined that that was a lie. She was going to her party and I said you seem pretty and enthusiastic about going. She replied with don't use big words. Dot. Okay. You seem big sad. No want go. E. Which one of you wants to be next to make a reference to the office? Long distance. Only online crush boyfriend. We were playing a modified TTRPG in the early 2010s and we made the horrible mistake of playing versions of ourselves, same names, ages, etc. Comma lots of shti happened. But the thing that really made me feel like shti was when I felt like a third wheel with him and his best bro. We were playing in a survival setting. So we would delegate chores to make sure we had supplies, fuel, ammo, etc. By the end of each day, every time my BF would choose to go with his guy friend for things. I didn't mind the first couple of times. But I did kinda want a day where the two of us hung out, since, again, this was a LD relationship, never happened. The one time I forced the issue and said I was coming along to hunt or something. They just ignored me and did their usual thing. Jokes on me. Though. Turns out BF was deep in the closet and hanging out with his guy friend and game was him living out his fantasy of having a boyfriend. Get involved with a cheater. Move to a different school. She disrespected the food my mom made specially for her. Smoking. My folks both smoked and died from lung cancer. Saw it coming as a kid. Complete turn off and buzz kill. My father smoked in the house while I was growing up. Everything smelled like cigarettes. He ended up dying from COPD. I promised myself I'd never date someone who smoked. My now wife was a smoker 4 years before we met. She quit within a month of meeting me, without me ever talking to her about my feelings regarding cigarettes. I never even saw her with a cigarette in her hand. After meeting me. She just took it upon herself to quit. 10 years later. She still doesn't smoke. Peter. This is a serious response. He threatened to kill me and himself if I broke up with him. We were alone in the house and he was having some sort of episode where he spaced out. Became robotic. And dissociated. This made him act very slow and lethargic. He had mental issues. I grabbed my stuff and ran. Never saw him again but I know he was hospitalized. I'm married now and he hasn't contacted me since. I actually hope he's doing better. She referred to Mexicans as wetbacks. I look white. What she didn't know is that I'm part Mexican. Racism of any kind towards anyone is an instant turn off. Edit. We were on a date at Jamie's Italian and he ordered for me. He got me a salad. I crushed on a girl for a couple of years and didn't ask her out because life was busy for me. But eventually I was able to ask her out. I took her to the movies to see the most recent Star Wars movie. Before the movie started. She was slamming beers down. Which I have no issue with drinking but she was near sloppy drunk. During the movie. She would talk throughout the entire movie and constantly look at her phone. Funny enough. She would make some rude comments towards other people for talking and I would cringe at the irony. Later that night. He drove to a gas station so she could get cigarettes and she was being completely rude to the cashier because he couldn't understand what she was asking for in her belligerent state. Had a crush on this girl who was dating someone at the time. I was hanging out with her and she kept checking her phone. Later she announced she was upset because her so hadn't texted her first that day. So they hadn't texted at all. She was building resentment over literally nothing. Useful insight into what a relationship with her might have looked like. Told me how her cat was sick so she snapped its neck to put it out of its misery. We were on break. Eating lunch. The way he ate literally made me nauseous. Chomping. Licking his fingers. Taking bites three times the size of his mouth. UHG. Instant turn off. 
when I was staying in a psychiatric ward several years ago. I became friends with one of the people who was there to treat an addiction. The addicts and the general patients weren't supposed to mix but I was in a really bad place at the time and became very attached to him. So spent a lot of time with him when the nurses weren't looking. At first he didn't want to tell me what he was in for and like an idiot I didn't question it. Eventually he told me that he was in for looking at child PRN. Yep. That killed my crush pretty quickly. 9th grade English. Gave a persuasive speech about how gay marriage is horrendous because it's against gods will starting with that cliche it was Adam and Eve. Not Adam and Steve line. Nobody's that hot. She started posting on Facebook how the lockdown is the modern day holocaust. I tried to reason with her. But she's a Trump sheep and can't quite grasp why the holocaust comparison is anti-semitic. Tell me they weren't interested in me. It was for the best. He went off about how abortions are wrong and that minors even in cases of our pay or incest should have to go through with the pregnancy. It sickens me that he had a young daughter and had these beliefs but. It was more than enough for me to lose interest in him. He had a lowly fetish. I'll leave it at that. Got rejected. Started smoking meth. Really killed my heart. Smoke in my car. I knew she was a smoker but but doing that in someone else's car. Especially a non-smoker. Without authorization is a complete lack of education. Made me even more peace said cause the previous owner was a smoker and it took nearly a year to take that smell off the car. Even the car got peace said at her. It broke down half the way lol. We were on a zoom call and she hadn't washed her face for the 14th time and described how she had a pile of McDonald's wrappers on her desk. I mean. Personally I'd say washing a face 13 times should be enough. She opened her mouth. Never in my life had I been so disappointed. She was the type of girl to brag about her new iPhone but a year later call someone rich for buying the new one. We somehow got on the topic of politics and gay marriage and she said and I quote I don't mind gay people living together and they can collect the same benefits as married people. I just don't think they should allow to actually be married. It was the quickest I went from liking to hating someone. Him breaking his computer when he got upset over something. Invited her to a party. And she wore this tight shirt that said daddy's little princess on it in glitter. It really turned me off. He ghosted me. Girl I was talking to agreed to go to prom with me. Prom gets cancelled due to coronavirus. No big deal because the students will throw a fake prom in a month so no one misses out. About a week before we decide that we won't go because it was gonna be hot as duck outside. And then she proceeds to go by herself without even telling me.